Happy Friday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about the simple secret that unlocks all of God's blessings. How do I look? I have to look good for you people. I know you are a beautiful group of people. I know that. And today is offering day. Today's the day we do our offerings and our donations to send this message around the world. And we have got some great stuff coming for you. Some great stuff that's coming for you. So just hang on. Hang on. It won't be long. We've got some new stuff coming out. We've, you know, we've always got new stuff coming. We always, always are working on, I've always got a project going where we're developing something new. And right now, something is in development. So you'll see what it is. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Make sure you call me today to speak the blessing over you when you do your offerings and donations. And some of you did them overnight. And some of you, some of them, some of you did them early yesterday morning and you haven't called yet. Because I want to bless you. You're, you're supposed to be blessed when you do your donations and your, especially your tithe. So I want to speak that blessing. Some of you did call. Somebody called and said, Pastor Jim, I brought a tithe and I want to be blessed. So praise God. There is a connection there. A huge connection. Huh? How to unlock the blessings of the Lord. Share this video with everybody you know. Nobody needs to be sick and broke as long as I'm here. And that's a fact. Nobody does. This is the one phone number in the whole country people can call and get healed. Every time I hear somebody wonderful and somebody famous passing away, I think that that didn't have to happen. It did not have to happen. If they'd have called me, I would have used the power in the name of Jesus. Folks, let me tell you something. There is so much power in that name for somebody who knows how to use it and somebody who is anointed to use it. Just year, 30 some years ago, when I first started getting a hold of this, all I would do is touch people and say, be healed in the name of Jesus. But I believed in that name. And I believed I could use that name to heal people. And I'm telling you, people got healed everywhere. Just all of, I'd say, just be healed in the name of Jesus. They got healed. I'd say, come out in the name of Jesus. These evil spirits of sickness would come out of people. It's still going on now. Only now we've learned more. It's just incredible what the name of Jesus will do. Amen. I want to share with you, and that's, today it's out of this book. And it's the subtitle to this book today. The Simple Secret, How to Unlock God's Blessings. Do you know that if you can unlock, the, the blessings are locked. There's a lock on the blessings. They must be unlocked. And there's a secret to doing that. I, I started getting a hold of this a few years ago when I was listening to somebody. I listened to a certain group of people I pay attention to. And these are people who are blessed. If you want to be blessed, listen to blessed people. Because you will become like the people you listen to. 
Now, I have, I kept telling Mary, we were broke, $300,000 in debt, broke, hopelessly broke. And I kept telling Mary, I will become like these people. These people to have their homes paid off. They have their cars paid off. They don't owe credit card debt. Many, most of those people own airplanes. Airplanes are paid off. Would you believe I'm the same way? I'm the same way there. Now, I don't have the kind of airplanes that they do yet. I don't live in a huge home, but I have a nice home. Very nice. Out on the beach, my, I have almost new cars, all paid for. Airplane, paid for. We have an airplane. We fly our own airplane. I am becoming like those people. Do you know why? Because I learned how to unlock the blessings of God. If you want to be successful, find a group of successful people in your field and find out what they all have in common. What do they all have in common? You look at the people on TV, the successful people on TV, the pundits, the talking heads, the newscasters, that group of people, you look at, at those, those people, what do they all have in common? They've all got something in common. Now, I haven't studied those people that much because that's not my field. But I'll tell you who I have studied. I've studied the preachers. There is a group of elite preachers out there. The people who are very successful, the spirit-filled people who are very successful. And I studied them to find out what they all had in common. And I found out, one day I was listening to Keith Moore. He's one of those people. And he said that whenever they get a new airplane or a new car or a new piece of equipment, him and his wife and some of the people in his staff, they will go and put their hands on that and they'll bind the devil in it and pray over it and bless it. And I thought to myself, I should be doing the same thing. I should be doing the same thing. I discovered that Kenneth Copeland and Keith Moore and Creflo Dollar and T.D. Jakes and Joel Olstein and all those, all the successful people, what they have in common is they keep the devil out of their life. And they watch their words. Huh? These two things. I told somebody yesterday, you know who you are. I said, if you will keep the devil out of your life or have me do it for you and watch your words, you will be successful. Now he needs financial success. That's what he needs. I said, there's two things. Just all these two things. The simple secret boils down to two things. Watch your words and keep the devil out of your life. And if you watch your words, the devil can't get back into your life. He can only come in by your, you, your permission. Otherwise, he's on the outside looking in. But if you invite him with your words, He'll surely come into your life. 
What you bind on earth is bound from heaven. What you loose on earth is loose from heaven. Don't have the devil loosed in your life. What these people have in common? These two simple things. The simple secret, how to unlock God's blessings and live a curse-free, blessed life. And that's what those people do. They live a curse-free, blessed life. And so do I. And I have, for the last 11 years, in June, two months, it will be 11 years since I began to live a curse-free, blessed life. June of 2013 is when we broke the power of the devil in our life. And we had our words under control. And I'm telling you what, folks, the blessing of the Lord has been flowing in our life and there is nothing to stop it. The devil can't stop it because we watch our words. Now that's what you need to do. If you don't get your words under control, there's nothing I can do for you. Nothing I can do for you. But if your words are under control, I can speak that blessing over you and it will take hold in your life. The Garden of Eden, blessing of Abraham, which came through Abraham, but started in the Garden of Eden, ratified by Jesus at the cross when Christ redeemed us so that the Gentiles were eligible for that blessing. It used to be only the Jews were eligible. But now everybody's eligible that's born again. If you're born again, you are eligible for the blessing of God. But you have to receive it by faith. You receive it. Or just be quiet when I speak it over you. And it'll take effect in your life. Don't be asking all these questions. Well, Pastor Jim, I just got one more question. Be quiet. I don't want to hear your questions. Stop asking questions and just believe this. You're not called to understand this. Actually, the Bible says, do not lean on your own understanding. There's an awful lot about God's word that I don't understand. And I'm okay with all that. But I believe it. I just believe it. I don't know how all this works. I'll be the first one to tell you, I don't know how all this works. And I'll tell you what else I know. I know nobody else does either. The ways of God are higher than our ways. I just believe what he said. If he said it, I believe it. I don't need to understand it. I don't, it, it doesn't make any sense to me to give away so much and yet have more. Give and it shall be given unto you. And, you know, just Jesus implied that the, what you, you sow, you reap. It, that doesn't make any sense to me. But it works. Giving the first 10% of your income, hello. But it works. Giving to the Lord. You give the best, your best to the Lord. He gives you his best. None of that makes any sense. But it works. Tithing doesn't make any sense to me. But it works, people. Because God's word says it works. It says he will open the windows of heaven. And folks, let me tell you, he has opened the windows of heaven to me. Because I've done what he said and not questioned it. <clears throat> Glory to God, huh? Share this video with everybody you know. I want everybody to be blessed. I am more determined than you are that you're going to be blessed. Today's offering day. Make sure you call me so I can speak God's word for word blessing over you. I am determined that you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life. I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen.